Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com, our reseller headquarters. NameHero.com is the leader in reseller cloud web hosting. We're glad you're here and today we want to demonstrate how to set up and install WHMCS. It's a web hosting billing system for those of you that are not familiar with it. It's probably the most popular web hosting billing system out there. Um, so for those of you that are a reseller, and by reseller, I mean that you want to start your own web hosting company. You already have your own web hosting company. Or maybe you're a developer or ad agency or, or web designer that wants to offer your clients web hosting. Whichever category you fall into, you can easily use WHMCS for customers to come to your website, sign up for a web hosting account, and they can pay you monthly and you can charge whatever you wish. You can make a lot of money being a web hosting reseller. So that's what we kind of specialize in here at NameHero.com is our reseller cloud web hosting platform. So we basically provide you the resources that you can go resell and use to your clients. Now anyone that's ever used the NameHero.com cloud will tell you we believe in high performance, high redundancy, secure servers, and overall blazing fast site load time. We don't like to, to deal with old technology. So we're, we have a super quick cloud here and just because it's um, quick does not mean it's expensive. We've got some great prices. So if you don't already have a reseller account with us, please go ahead and sign up um, with one now because you're going to need that to install WHMCS. So you can see we start at $9.95 a month, then we go up to $19.95 a month. The biggest difference is your um, disk space and bandwidth, but you can always increase that. So start off with $9.95 and then go up as you come along. I will say the corporate has a free SSL certificate and dedicated IP address that comes with it. That may benefit you. So if, if your resources call for that or your needs call for that, um, go ahead and sign up with that. It's actually a really good deal to get the free certificate, free IP address and all that with that package. Okay, so if you don't, if you aren't familiar with WHMCS, check out their website. It tells you plenty of information about it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and continue on with the assumption that you're already aware of WHMCS and show you how to install it. So your first step is you just want to log into your cPanel here at NameHero.com. So after you sign up for your reseller hosting account, and we've got plenty of videos here on the site showing you how to do that. Once you do that, you go to the main domain where you want to install WHMCS. Now, most people put this in a subdomain. That means that it's going to be something like billing.yourdomain.com, and that's where WHMCS will live and operate. People like to do that so they can separate their site from their billing system. Now, if you just want your whole site to be the billing system, then you can install it in the root domain. It, it just depends however you wish. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to scroll down here to the bottom, and we are going to go to the apps installer. So we'll click here. Now you can see the top scripts are listed on here and of course what's smack dab in the middle is WHMCS. Um, you can demo and read the overview which is the same information on their site but whatever um, you know works for you. Okay so we go to the install page and this is and this installer makes it so simple because we don't have to worry about FTP and downloading and all this stuff. The latest version of WHMCS is on here so we just have to fill out a couple form fields and we'll have this set. Okay, so the first thing you do is choose your protocol. Okay, so if I like www, now with WHMCS, you're probably going to need, or I highly recommend actually, a secure certificate. So if you bought that corporate package and have the free certificate, then you want to go ahead and sign up and use this. Okay, now for this demo, I don't have it. You can see a trusted SSL certificate was not found. So we're not going to use that. But you definitely, you know, if this is going to be a production install, you definitely want to have that. It's for the security of your business and your customers, credit cards and all that. Even though the credit cards are not stored, when they're signing up, it just shows them that there's no one else um, breaking into to your site, into that connection. It keeps everything encrypted and safe. So um, please, you know, if you bought a corporate package from us here at Name Hero, let us know and we can easily install that for you. Next is the directory that you want to install WHMCS. Now, I don't recommend calling it WHMCS. I recommend calling it billing or clients. So let's just say clients. It sounds better. And of course, you can install it in the root of your domain. So if you want it for this example, our domain's www.namehero.com. So if that's, um, you know, if this was our site, it's slash clients would be um, where WHMCS lives. Now if we want it to show up just on the root, we could leave this blank. Okay, so this would actually install it on www.namehero.com. It would install it on that main directory. So let's just do that. 
Okay, now we can, um, the data directory, we can leave this default. It really doesn't matter. We can call it WHMCS data or just data. Let's leave it. Now here's your um, your Chrome job. This is um, this specifies when the invoices and stuff runs every night. Um, you can just leave this default. Um, you see it says here, if you're unaware, just leave it as it is because it's just going to run. Um, it's just going to run daily, okay? All right, so now we're going to scroll down here. This is where you input your company name and information. So let's just call it name hero reseller. Okay, this is the admin folder. I recommend, well, I don't recommend, I highly suggest that you change this to something confusing, okay? Um, don't keep it admin because people can, evildoers and hackers, so you're going to go to your admin URL and try everything to get into your install because this has access to your servers. So you want to make this as hard as possible. So hard to guess. We won't put in that. Okay, so you just want to make it something extremely hard. Write it down. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be in here for your reference. But you want to make it something that someone's not going to think of off the top of their head. The only people that will know this URL is you and your employees. Next, you want to have your um, your email address. So we're just going to keep it billing at www.namehero.com for this example. Put that whatever you want your email address to be. And next, we have to do our license key. So, okay, this is WHMCS is not free. I actually have stated this in the beginning. Um, if we go over here to WH WHMCS's website, we can go and um, purchase our license because you're going to have to have one, okay? So there's different pricing. Name Hero's got some different pricing for it as well. So we'll post that at the bottom of this blog post, a link to go in and actually buy WHMCS your license, but it's cheap. It's, I mean, it's under 20 bucks a month for the non-branded license. So it's not expensive, um, but it is a, a small fee. But, you know, of course, for what WHMCS does, it's very, very affordable. So I've actually got this copied on my clipboard, so I'm just going go ahead and enter it. Actually, I lost it. Let me grab that just one second. Okay, I've went ahead and entered my license information. You want to keep that key private because that's unique to just your site. When you buy your WHMCS license, that's just yours. You don't, you're not allowed to, and you, of course you don't want to share it. I'm going to throw this video on YouTube and everywhere else where people listen to me, so I definitely don't want to show mine. Okay, so the next step is we want to configure our admin username and password. This is how you're going to access WHMCS. Now, I recommend making this as hard as possible. So you don't want to make this admin because that's easy to guess. So you maybe want to make something like just your initials, okay? So um, we'll just use um, Richard here. We'll say Richard NH, okay? And we'll generate a password. Okay, so we're going to make these two credentials very, very strong. And um, let me actually copy this to my clipboard just so I have it um, when we get finished. Okay, so our first name and last name, you want to enter it in here. Um, so I could enter mine here and, um, right here. And then I could enter my admin email. This is the email address. that's going to send you admin alerts. So you want to make sure this is just yours. No one else can get to that. Um, finally, there's a, a couple, um, options here for language. Um, I speak English, so I'm going to make the admin and the site English. You, they, the good thing about WHMCS is they've got it translated into a lot of other ones here. So, you know, if you speak something different than English, feel free to go at it. Okay. A couple advanced settings here. Um, database name, this can stay the same. If you don't know what you're doing, just leave it. Um, but if you want to change it to something that you know that you can keep up with, um, you know, change that. Um, disable update notifications when you log into WHMCS. If the script's out to out of date, it's going to say, "Hey, it's out of date. Download the new one." So I don't want to disable that because you always want to keep it up to date. Um, automatically upgrade. Okay, so you can check this, and the system will actually automatically update as new updates come out. Now, if you do a lot of customizations and you don't want to do this because you actually have to manually upgrade your software. If you're going to use the software out of the box and not make many customizations, then just automatically upgrade it. But you definitely want to keep WHMCS up to date. You never want to let it go out because that could pose a security risk. Okay, and then you can back up. If you want to do backups on, on your server here, you can do that. Um, I actually take them a little bit of a different way, so I'm not going to do them here for this, in, in, for this demonstration, okay? All right, so it looks like we're all set. We're going to click install. All right, so it just takes a little bit here for it to install. This is much quicker. You can see how um, quick that just happened. <laughs> this is much, much, much quicker than it is if you were to FTP it or anything like that. Um, so you can see it's all set now. It's 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 ready to go for us here. Now, it's got the extra www. Actually, there we go. 
the, the URL was a, a little bit messed up there just because um, of how I'm installing it here on a dev subdomain. So I installed this in the root. Um, so www.namehero.com is where my um, WHMCS demonstration lives. And you can see the site is up now and it's ready to go. So you're ready to send customers to your site but you have to configure it first. So you can check out WHMCS's documents, but all your configuring is going to take place in the administrative URL. So remember the folder we just called and we said we're going to make it really hard to guess. So you can see where it lives. It's going to be right here. We're going to go right here. Okay. And it's not accepting my license just because, um, it's a new license. I just entered it in here. So um, I've got to set that up before I can access my admin area. But um, of course, once you um, once you do, you'll be able to, to get through there um, and see all that. So you can see the site is ready to go. You just need to go into your admin URL and configure it. And what I'll do is, is I'll get another video here once I get my um, license validated. And I'll show you how to, how to do some of the basic configuring. Um, but so stay tuned to our blog for more information. But really, that's as easy as it is to get it installed. WHMCS should not be hard to install for you. Um, don't let it intimidate you. And, you know, don't spend all this wasted time um, downloading, uploading, and all that. Use our one-click installer. So that's about, that's going to do it for this video. Again, we are the leaders in, in reseller cloud web hosting here at NameHero.com. I don't want to see you make a mistake and going, and going with the company that's not going to be there to support your business. We're here for you. We want to help you make your business business awesome. So check us out. Let us know if you have any questions. Other than that, um, we'll see you around. Thanks so much, everyone.